Christmas story. We retell it every year. How God came from heaven's glory, came to make his home right here. Jesus, lying in a manger, born in all our mess and fuss, made us friends who once were strangers, son of God who lives with us. Soon we'll meet the shepherds, wise men, all the usual Christmas crew, and perhaps another story, one that's now involving you. In our world of joy and darkness, in our laughter, pain and care, Jesus came that we could know that God is with us everywhere. So, our story starts, as always, with an angel, Gabriel, visiting the home of Mary. Was she busy? Who can tell? All today I'm cooking, sweeping, feed the chickens, knead the dough. Honestly, it's never ending. Time to sit down for a mo. But as soon as Mary rested, someone knocked upon her door. Grumpily, she went to answer, not expecting what she saw. Greetings, Mary, highly favoured. I have come to you from God with a message straight from heaven. Oh, you look a little odd. Yes, I realise that you're frightened. Seems to happen quite a lot. People see my wings and halo. Gives them all a nasty shock. Would you like a glass of water? Do sit down, dear. There's the love. That's much better. Here's the message I have bought from God above. Gabriel explained to Mary God had chosen her to be mother of a special baby, God's gift for humanity. Um, don't want to seem ungrateful, but there's just one tiny thing I should mention just in passing. See my hand? No wedding ring. Mary, don't get all Beyonce. It's okay, the child will be not the son of your fiancé, but of God, the one in three. Father God will send his spirit and become the Holy Son. So the child you'll bear will be the son of God, the three in one. Wow, that's quite a thing you're asking. God himself will come to stay, but I am the Lord God's servant. Let it happen as you say. So the angel bowed and left her. Mary sat and drank some tea, called up her fiancé, Joseph. What would his reaction be? Right across the town from Mary, Joseph had a woodwork shop. He was busy making benches when a phone call made him stop. Joseph here, all tables mended, doors and windows, fences too. Carpenter to all of Nazareth. Who's this? Joseph. Oh, Mary, it's you. Joseph, dear, I've news to tell you. We are going to have a child. God's own son, an angel told me. 
Now, please, Joseph, don't get riled. Mary, this is disappointing. Not that I'm mad or cross, but I must do what is righteous. Sorry, but the wedding's off. Joseph planned to do this quietly, still caring for Mary's plight. Gabriel had news for Joseph in a dream that very night. Joseph, son of David, listen. You are frightened, that's okay. It's all right to marry Mary. You'll still have your wedding day. Mary said the babe she's bearing is from God. And that is right. Call him Jesus, which means savior. He will be this dark world's light. Joseph made it up with Mary and they set a wedding day. But before they picked the bridesmaids, something happened. Ah, oh, ve! Mary, I've just got this letter. Oh, it's not good news. It's from them, you know, the Romans. It's about taxes, time to pay in Bethlehem. What do you mean we've got to travel while I'm pregnant? That's too hard. Can't we pay by direct debit, visa pay or MasterCard? Sorry, sweetie, not invented. It's Bethlehem or bust. I'll start packing. Put your feet up. Comfy footwear is a must. So to Bethlehem they travelled because of Joseph's family tree. Walked for days and days to get there. Were they tired? Guess we'll see. Nearly there now, Mary, darling. Won't be long until supper time. We can stay at my uncle Bolt's in his guest room. You'll be fine. Really hope so, Joseph, dearest. Baby's nearly on his way. When we get there, call the midwife. I think you'll be a dad today. Uncle Bob had made it lovely, but the room was very small. Mary much preferred it downstairs, just beside the donkey's stall. So that night, as stars were twinkling, Mary's tiny babe was born. Joseph filled the donkey's trough with hay and blankets, soft and warm. Can I hold him? Will he like me? Do you think that he'll call me dad? God's own son just wet his nappy. Mary, my dear, you're looking sad. I was thinking, will he be a carpenter like you, you reckon? Making chairs and tables or does something very different, Beckham? Will he grow to be like you or will he take his father's job? Nestling in my arms, I see the face of human, son of God. As they gazed in awe and wonder at their baby sleeping sound, silently beyond their vision, all of heaven gathered round. God no longer just in glory, but right here where humans dwell. God made flesh to be God with us, Jesus, our Emmanuel. Meanwhile, on a distant hillside, shepherds sat there tending sheep. Amos, Seth, apprentice Colin, round the campfire, half asleep. All at once, they heard some singing, saw a brilliant, shining light. Gabriel arrived in glory. What a terrifying sight. What the flipping heck is happening? Seth and Colin, wake up now. Aliens, I think, or Martians. Don't look at them, hit the ground. Sorry, didn't mean to scare you. It's the halo, I suppose. But I have some information. Uh, excuse me while I strike a pose. Do not fear I bring glad tidings, news of joy for all the earth. News about a special baby. News about a new king's birth. Amos, there's no need to hide your face. Martian, it's a bloomin' angel, not some dude from outer space. Look, there's loads now. Seeing glory. Glory be to God on high. 
Peace on earth to everybody. Angels filling up the sky. Hurry now to David City, Bethlehem, and you will see wrapped in cloth and in the manger, Lord of all eternity. Get a move on them, don't just stand there gawping. So, the shepherds left the hillside and just off the city square found the house with Mary, Joseph, and the baby lying there. Ain't it lovely? Who'd have thought it? Me old Amos standing here, right before the Lord of glory. Makes my knees come a little queer. Feel I should have brought a present. Could not think of what to bring. What could shepherds bring a baby, Lord of Lord and King of Kings? I brought him wool to sleep on. Comfier than straw or hay. Smells of sheep, I know. But this is from the heart. Is that okay? So the shepherds knelt and worshipped. Feet on earth and eyes on heaven. Jesus slept and snuggled softly on the wool that they had given. Sure, it had no fancy wrapping. Ribbons? None nor sparkling bow, but the gift they gave to Jesus came with love instead of show. So as Colin, Seth and Amos went back to their dozing sheep, Jesus somehow went there with them, giving presents they could keep. Later on, a group of wise men traveled in from lands afar. Scientists, we'd call them these days, following a bright new star. Are we nearly there, Gaspar? We've been traveling for weeks. Can you just remind me why we've come and what it is we seek? Melchior, have you forgotten? Honestly, you noodle brain. We bring gifts to greet and welcome, celebrate a new king's reign. All our books and all our wisdom told us that this star so bright means that a king, God and saviour will be born this very night. When the wise men stopped their journey, what they found was quite a shock. Mary, Joseph, baby manger, shepherds outside with their flock. Can I check this is the right place? I brought gold to crown a king, but I wonder where's the palace? Is this manger quite the thing? I brought incense made for worship, rising as a prayer to heaven. Prayers now answered by the baby. God's own gift to me is given. I brought myrrh, which symbolizes one who dies to save us all. It seems a strange gift for a baby and a job too big for one so small. So the wise men gave their presents though they did not understand how the child who lay before them would one day give this command. Follow me, he'd call to many. Preach good news in all he said. Heal the sick and free the captives. Would they follow where he led? Gave his life to pay our ransom. Brought us all at costly price. Righteous King, and God and Saviour, perfect Lamb as sacrifice. Raised to life, to raise us with him, Victor Christ and living word, all this lay before the baby, sleeping soundly, undisturbed. So the wise men knelt around him, gave their costly presents, then suddenly they knew that they'd be taking treasure home with them. Richer than the purest incense, costlier than gold or myrrh, wise men took home truest wisdom, prince of peace and comforter. Now our story's almost ended. Everyone has met him here. Will you take the Christmas baby home with you throughout the year? Let us hear from all the people who have met with God today. How will this affect their stories?
Will this change them? Who can say? Strange is night, but stranger morning, joy and sadness like a sword. When I kiss my baby's forehead, I believe I kiss the Lord. Though I'm his adopted father, I will raise him as my son, teach him all I know and love him, serve my king until kingdom come. I don't really understand it, all the stuff the angel said, but I know I knelt and worshipped by the Lord Almighty's bed. Why would God come down to shepherds, poorest folk of all the poor, live with us and make us worthy? I don't know, but I adore. But what have I got to give Jesus? Nothing, but yet everything. All my heart and soul and worship for the baby, God and King. Gold I brought, expecting royals. Majesty I found instead. Higher king than all kings ever, lying in a manger bed. I brought incense made for worship, rising as a prayer to heaven. Prayers now answered by the baby. God's own gift to me is given. So God's plan before creation, earth in heaven and heaven on earth, came in form of gentle baby, mighty God in human birth. Now Emmanuel is with us. Christmas is forever true. In your home, if you invite him, God with you and you and you. God on earth and God in heaven. God with every human heart. Greatest gift that e'er was given. We and God no more apart. Shout with us the Christmas story. Let all heaven and earth declare Jesus came to earth from glory. God is with us everywhere. Shout with us the Christmas story. Let all heaven and earth declare Jesus came to earth from glory. God is with us everywhere. Shout with us the Christmas story. Let all heaven and earth declare Jesus came to earth from glory. God is with us everywhere. Christmas. Merry, Merry Christmas. Whoa, Merry Christmas. <laughs> Excuse me while I take a <laughs> Really hope so, Joseph dear. <laughs> <laughs> Will he grow to be like you? <laughs> Something happened. Ahoy oh, vey! 